Hi, I'm Ebony. And I'm David. And today we're going to show you how to make three sensors using household supplies. And you should be able to get all these supplies at your local discount store. Usually when people think of sensors, they think about smoke detectors, thermometers, or even a speedometer in a car. Sensors can seem pretty challenging when you make them, but today we're going to show you how to make a few simple ones. We're going to start with three beginner level crafts that are like sensors. And if you can follow along, you'll be on your way to creating more complex sensors like this one. Basically, a sensor is a device that detects or measures a change. This first sensor is pretty simple. It's going to allow you to be able to detect if your brother, your sister, or even if your cousin entered into your room. <laughs> That's cool. I'm really going to like this one. For this activity, you'll need a balloon, a tack, and some tape. Let's get started. I really like that one. How is that a sensor? Well, the balloon and tack act as a motion sensor. Opening the door produced the motion. The balloon and tack alerted you to that motion. And that's what a sensor does. That's a good way to look at it, David. So for our second sensor, I'm going to show you a colorful way to detect if someone opens a drawer, whether it's a cabinet or a desk. This one is going to be good. <laughs> that sounds awesome. All you need is a crayon, a piece of paper, and some tape. Oh, she got me. <laughs> you know, Ebony, I like that one. The person who opens up the drawer may never know that they were detected. Right. Sensors don't always have to emit a sound. As long as the sensor detects the motion of the drawer opening, you got a winner. This last sensor is one of the simplest sensors yet. You can use it on a door or even a drawer. For this, all you need is some aluminum foil, and some tape. That was fun, right? Yeah, it was so easy building those sensors. I feel a lot more confident because I feel like I understand sensors better. And that's our goal at Next Gen STEM, to help students build their STEM identities. NASA innovates for the benefit of humanity by improving life on Earth through climate and technological innovations. In fact, a new future of air transportation is in the works at NASA, and it all starts with sensors. Sensors ensure that flight is sustainable, secure, and safe. In the future, more aircraft will be autonomous or self-flying. In fact, uncrewed vehicles or drones are being used right now as package delivery vehicles. They provide emergency response, perform rescue missions, medical drops, conduct aerial photography, and much more. If you enjoyed making sensors with us today, you will enjoy our sensor solutions activity. In this activity, you will understand how sensors work and how they provide benefits to us in society. We can't wait to hear from you. 
We want to hear about your successes, your failures, and your science. Because after all, you are the, the next, next generation, generation of STEM. STEM.